Hi, this is Al, and on today's Summit Racing Quick Flicks, I'm going to go over a few wiring tech tips. So the first tech tip that I want to give you in regards to wiring is choosing the proper wire size or wire gauge depending on the application. Now there is a certain formula uh, or chart that you should go by when choosing your wire. Now I have several different sizes of wire here. I have a 16 gauge, a 14, 12, 10, all the way up to a one gauge size wire. And they're used for different applications. And the application is based on both the amperage that the wire is going to be carrying or your product will be demanding, as well as the length. So for example, if you're going to be wiring an auxiliary fan on your radiator, you're gonna to wanna to know how much amperage that fan is going to draw at maximum speed. You're also gonna to wanna to know the distance from your battery or your power point to the fan motor. That is gonna help determine the proper size or gauge wire that you're going to want to choose for that fan. So if you look at the chart here, you can see, for an example, if you have a 20 amp draw that is eight feet away, you're gonna to wanna to choose a 12 gauge wire. And if you are doing something like wiring a battery in a remote location, that is obviously gonna be a lot uh, more amps being drawn from the battery when you use your starter. So you're gonna have a thicker gauged wire like this one gauge wire that we include in our Summit Racing Battery Relocation Kit. So the next thing that I wanna talk about, it probably isn't your favorite, are electrical relays. Now, an electrical relay is a low amp circuit controlling a high amp circuit. Now the way that works is I have a, a typical diagram of a single throw relay here. And your low amp circuit comes in here and it energizes this coil and it pulls this switch shut which then energizes your high amp circuit. So you have your positive, your ground here, and here is your coil, your positive coming in off of something like the battery and then this is also positive, being energized from the relay, going to your accessory like your fuel pump, your electric fan, or another accessory that you have wired up. The benefit of running a relay is that it prevents you from overloading a circuit on your fuse panel or on your ignition switch. So that way you're not trying to draw high amperage through that fuse panel or your ignition switch. So now that I've explained to you what a relay is and how it works in your vehicle, let's talk about how to properly wire a single pole, single throw relay. Now on the relay, you're gonna have terminals labeled 85, 30, 87, and 86. Terminal 86, that's gonna be your positive from either your ignition switch or a switch on the dash. Terminal 85 is going to be your ground. Then terminal 87, well that's gonna be your positive directly from your battery. And then you have terminal 30 and that is going to be your accessory. So when you energize, when you either turn on your vehicle or turn on the switch on the dash, that's gonna energize this coil, it's gonna close this connection, and it's gonna go ahead and turn on your accessory. So the last little bit of this video, I just wanna kinda of talk about uh, some of the different wire that Summit Racing has, as well as some of the tools and equipment that can make wiring your vehicle a little easier. Uh, the first one is, is the wire. Summit Racing, like I mentioned, has a lot of different wire sizes uh, from your 16 gauge wire up to your one gauge wire, depending on what your accessory uh, needs in terms of the distance 
from your power source as well as the amperage that that accessory is going to be drawing. So make sure you refer back to our chart uh, to get that proper wire size. The other thing that I wanna point out is Summit Racing offers a lot of different colors in terms of your wire. The reason why wire comes in different colors is it makes troubleshooting a lot easier. If you have black wire being run everywhere all over your car, uh, you're not gonna be able to identify quickly which wire is going to your electric fan and which wire is going to your fuel pump. So the different color wire, it really helps uh, shorten that time of troubleshooting. The other thing I want to mention, Summit Racing has different sizes of ground straps. Now, we all I talked about getting power to your accessories. Grounding your vehicle is really important. You want to make sure that you have a good, solid ground. In fact, whenever you're troubleshooting your equipment, that's the first thing I recommend you check is do you have a good solid ground? Uh, another thing to add to make sure you have a solid ground when you're trying to connect something to a painted surface, like if, you, if you've painted your engine block, use a star washer. That star washer is able to kind of just bite through that paint to get a good solid connection to a metal surface so you get, have a good solid metal to metal contact to make sure that you have a good electrical connection. Now let's talk about some of the equipment that you may want to use and may want to pick up. Uh, one of the first things I'm going to mention is a multimeter. You want to have a good multimeter so that way you know what kind of amperage and volts are flowing through your system at different times. Uh, we always say, you know, you want to test your battery. It's easy to do with that multimeter. Another thing you may want to pick up is a 12 volt test light. Because sometimes you just need to make sure, hey, I have 12 volts at this point. And it helps you start to diagnose uh, tr issues and chase the little electrical gremlins back through your system. Another thing you may want to look into picking up is a good soldering iron. Uh, here I have the Power Probe soldering iron. It's a gas powered soldering iron. I like to use it because it makes it a little bit easier when you're crawling up underneath the dash to connect some wires. You're not carrying along an, an additional wire that uh, gets end up tangled in your, in your feet. Something else you may want to pick up is a multi-pack of uh, connectors and terminals. Now, we, I have this one from All Star. It's a real convenient pack. There's a bunch of different sizes. Now, these different colors they do correspond to different gauges of wire. So you don't want to put a 16 gauge wire in this yellow connector because it's not going to create a good secure connection. Now to help you use these wire terminals and connectors, you want to have a nice set of wire cutter and strippers. This makes sure it's, it's a lot easier to strip the ends of the wire, making sure that you don't uh, either tear the wire, you don't want to end up using your teeth. Uh, I know some people try to use their teeth, but get a good set of, of cutters. And then the last thing I have here is shrink tube. Now, if you're going to go ahead and solder your connections together, you're going to want to also use shrink tube. Make sure you put the shrink tube on first before you solder the joint together. It makes it a lot easier so you don't have to take that joint apart. Now, if you have any other questions about wiring of your vehicle, please feel free to leave a question in the comments section below. Be sure to hit subscribe to stay up to date on our latest QuickFlix videos and be sure to watch some of our other videos that we have. Thanks for watching.